Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. I bear witness in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful. I bear witness that there is no god but Allah who appeared to us in the person of Master W. Farr Muhammad to whom praise is forever due. I further bear witness that Allah rose the exalted Christ Mahdi the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and it is in his name and in the name of his servant, our brother and friend, the Messiah in our midst today, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, that I greet you all, whomever is watching, whomever is listening, within the greeting words of peace of Assalamu Alaikum, which is peace be unto you. Welcome back. Welcome back. I haven't seen you all in a while. <laughs> this is another episode of Mariam Alima. What do you know about Islam? And we will be continuing on with the reading of How to Eat to Live, part six, I believe. Um, I have scheduled on the docket today to read pages 78 through 93, I think it is. But before we get into that, um, I believe I told you all that I had a project coming up. Maybe that was something else. Maybe it was, a, I don't know if it was this podcast that I said I have a project coming up uh, pertaining to eating and whatnot. But stay tuned because inshallah, the first episode of that will be dropping right after this. <laughs> But, um, oh, and it won't be on Anchor. So, hey, if you're on the Anchor app, I want to appreciate you because I'll get some revenue from the Anchor app. So, please continue to stream from the Anchor app. Love you dearly. But, in order to see that new, um, that new project, I need you all to go over to my YouTube. One, subscribe. <laughs> appreciate you. And like and share and, you know, explore the page. It's Mariam, M-A-R-Y-A-M, Alima, A-L-I-M-A, Warith, W-A-R-I-T-H. And I appreciate you greatly. Okay, so anyhow, within me getting into this new project, I was skimming through our dear beloved sister, Sister Dolores Ali's cookbook. For, forgive the lighting. Um, and although I've been going through the reading of How to Eat to Live, sometimes things are not made uh really cognizant to you until it is time and so although in how to eat to live the christ the most honorable elijah muhammad does state that we can eat fish and we can eat meat um but he advises us that it is it was never intended for man to eat so i'm going to read two things i'm going to read page 28 from her cookbook it says note within food preparation and foods we can eat the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan addressed all the followers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad under his leadership in an article dated December 1st 1988 it is in this article that the believers are reminded of what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught concerning meat and flesh both of which he said is no good for us then the minister instructs us gra to gradually begin a vegetarian diet from this day forward. The above mentioned article appeared in the volume 18 issue of the Final Call newspaper. So, with me reading that, that was the first time I have ever read or have known the minister to have mandated that we move into a vegetarian diet. I. I, I never knew that information, so I was holding on to my fish. <laughs> Indeed, I was holding on to my salmon, to my perch, to my red snapper. Okay. But now that we have read it, um, we submit. I'm just not going to buy any more fish. We're going to finish what we have in here. And a lost timing is so gracious because, um, as we know, it's about to all come on in. It's all about to, the stuff's about to hit the fan. And you're not going to be able to have any fish anyhow. <laughs> I don't have an aquaponic system. So it behooves me to continue to stock up on bean, dry beans and flour and all those non-perishables, which even though you can can fish, he already, he already mandated that we gradually move into a vegetarian diet. All I, needed, all I needed was to hear that once because I've never heard it before. Granted, he advises the Christ, advises in how to eat to live. 
that we um, do not eat meat. And I'm going to read an article from April 26, 2022, which is in, obviously, the, not obviously, but it's in the Final Call newspaper. And it's from April 26, 2022. But it's oh, out of volume two of How to Eat to Live. So you guys are getting a little, a little treat. We're fast forwarding into, not really the future, because the book is from the past. But that, ooh, I hope I click on our praise be to a lot. Okay, so this is from April 26, 2022. It is a reprint from volume two, How to Eat to Live. Eat one meal per day. Nothing between meals and eat the right food. Oh, I apologize. Let me backtrack. <laughs> How to eat to live. Meat never intended for man to eat. <sighs> yeah. Eat one meal per day. Nothing between meals and eat the right food. We eat meat, but meat was never intended for man to eat from the very creation of man. We have been eating meat. Why? Because the ruler of this nation of earth for the past 6,000 years is an enemy of the original man who was inhabited, who has inhabited the earth from the time unknown to man. A people that have been populating the earth here for billions and trillions of years would not eat the wrong food if they had not been made to suffer for guidance under a made enemy of theirs. And the enemy does not follow what we, the original man, had and was practicing. It is true, according to the teachings of Almighty God to me, that he caused us to eat the wrong foods. He is doing it himself, and many, and any man, the original black man, who comes into his civilization, he tries to force him to eat the wrong foods. I have seen him doing this, and we whom he reared himself, and had the power over us after destroying the knowledge of self from us. I'm not really sure if I read that right. I have, I have seen him doing this and we whom he reared himself and had the power over us after destroying the knowledge of self from us. The white race or the Caucasian or devil eats all kinds of poison frogs, all kinds of poison, frogs, snakes, and all filthy scavengers of water. He eats it and invites you to eat it, but they know it's not good. He eats all, kind of, all kinds of fowls. He knows they are not good for us to eat, and wild fowls at that. And he eats wild animals and beasts of the jungles, that which he digs up out of the earth, and the live creatures that live under the earth's surface. He knows that it's not good to eat, for, he himself, for himself and you too. But he advertises it, that it is all right to eat. Everything he eats, he tells you it is all right. So if you follow the white race's food eating, you are bound to eat the wrong food for your, for your consumption. So I warn you against the food of this race. They do not eat the good food because they found us eating the good food. And to make a world different from ours, they had to resort to eating the wrong food so that they could say that they established something which we did not have or were not doing. The Holy Quran refers to the white race, to the white man as eating like a beast. They eat as beasts. This is true. They do not deny it. The Bible teaches us against eating their dainty meats, which is a warning that you may be eating the wrong meat. Since they learned that their time was limited among us on earth, they have studied everything possible that was an enemy to us to make us to accept that enemy and like the enemy. The old filthy hog was not made to be taken as food for us, nor them. Allah taught me from his mouth that they made hog for medical purposes. Since he was a weak human being created for the purpose of weakening the strong black man in every way possible, they knew he was going to carry out lots of diseases because of the essence that they were made out of themselves, the weak germ of the original black man. These thousands of different of different kinds of foods that he offers you. Be aware that they are not to keep you alive, but to kill you. Do not think that they are following the right way by eating that which he himself eats. Do not eat that which this book has warned you not to eat, and do not eat like the beast. Every hour or two or whenever food is offered to them, they will eat it. How can you live eating poison and keeping your stomach trying to digest food 24 hours per day. 
More next time, How to Eat to Live, One Meal Per Day, reprinted from How to Eat to Live, Book 2, 1972, Alhamdulillah. So you can actually go on Final Call, yeah, FinalCall.com and look up these. If you go into the search engine on the actual website and look up How to Eat to Live, they are so gracious. They put all the articles on there for you, like reprints. Mm, excuse me. So, bless it. All righty now. Let's get into, oh, yeah, so, I, yeah, pretty much it suffices to say we're about to be vegetarians, which, hey, praise be to Allah, it's nothing. Um, and many, many vegetarian recipes are to be coming your way via Moriam Alima. Worry. All right, into How to Eat to Live, volume one, page 78. Train yourself to eat as Allah has advised, alhamdulillah. To keep healthy and strong and live a long time on this old earth, Allah said to me, in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad, eat one meal every two or three days. Do not be frightened, brothers and sisters, that with your meal hours being lengthened, you may die or become too hungry. I'm going to actually pause right there. Um, it's funny because throughout the book, he advises, like Allah advises, Allah has given <laughs> The Christ advising, so then the Christ is advising us. And an advisement is not necessarily a mandate, but the advice is because it's going to be at a time that it's just gonna it's gonna be required or it's just you you're not gonna have a choice. So with like the whole not eating meat and pulling yourself away from eating lamb meat, fish, all that good stuff, um because there was going to, there, the day is coming in where one is fake meat that you're eating anyway. Two, you're not going to have the you're not going to have the means to get it. Gas prices are risen. Food is about to be out of the roof. Even the beans about to go up. Matter of fact, the beans have gone up. They're not like one twenty when they used to be what seventy nine, eighty nine cent. So with the eating um, one meal every two to three days. And previously in the book, um, he says that you don't have to eat every two or three days. But once you've mastered one meal, why not give it a try? The reason being, beloved, you don't have to ration this food out. <laughs> so it behooves you to go ahead and just train your mind, train your body, because you're going to be eating every, every, every other day anyhow. Now, I didn't have a problem eating every other day is not that it's hard like fasting is a, like i'm a two-day or any like whenever we do our three three day fast at the beginning of the month i don't do three days on the strength of how my small frame i mean people we can say whatever we want about it but this is this is where i'm at okay <laughs> this is where mariam is mariam was doing two days because you can do two two or three days and i chose two one because I particularly am a I like to I like to eat and I cook my food and I be in the kitchen so <laughs> I was like okay two days it is for Marianne plus you know with me being small framed I'm a buck ten like I literally I'm five three and a quarter and I weigh 110 pounds which is my correct weight I thought I was supposed to be 119 but I not in all actuality looking back at my body no I wasn't I'm supposed to be 119 I'm I'm supposed to be 110 pounds, maybe like no more than 115, no less than 105. Even though, whew, 105, I want my five extra pounds. But anyhow, um, so I was doing two days. It seems it seems like we're going to be um, eating every other day, whether we want to or not. But in order to get through this perilous time, continue on with the reading. You will live, and you will not be hungry. After you have gotten your stomach used to the long intervals between meals, your stomach will take food only when you give it food, and it won't ask you for any food until the certain hour, until that certain hour to which you have accustomed it to being fed. I used to think like you, before the coming of our God and Savior in the person of Master Father Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever, I began practicing eating one meal every day with no food in between. I got used to that within a couple of weeks. And after a certain length of time, I tried eating once every two days with nothing between but coffee. 
I did not try to pour all of the cream and sugar out of the cream and sugar gals into the coffee. I sweetened and creamed it as I had done when I was eating three meals a day. Because we can live on cream and sugar for a long time. But it is not good that we do this through our coffee for our health's sake. I felt better eating one meal every two days or 48 hours with nothing between. I also tried eating one meal every 72 hours. As he told me that if I ate one meal every three days, I would never be sick. And I thought, I would try it before teaching it. So I did for a few months and I felt better than I felt when I was eating one meal every 48 hours. And I can bear witness that I did not have the symptoms of illness that in, of sim, excuse me, that I did not have symptoms of illness at any time. My whole body felt light and my whole head, and my head was clear. I could almost hear insects crawling. It is not so much what you eat when you when you begin eating one meal every day or every two or three days. It is just that you do not eat foods that are against your health. I have described in this book time and again that which he pointed out to me, but most poor people like us eat the inexpensive food because we do not have the money to buy expensive food that rich millionaires eat. So he prescribed to us, so he prescribed for us dry navy beans and bread and milk. There are some people asking about eating sardines. They are for us, they are for us to eat only if we are traveling and cannot get other foods. But please do not buy them unless they are fresh when you can clean them and not those that are packed already. There are some packed that are clean, but they are a little expensive. They are called Portuguese sardines. There are other herbs that we can eat that are not mentioned here in this book. But please, whenever you decide on eating something that is not mentioned in this book, write me. Because there are some on the market that are not good for you and me. Page 80, The Death Way. Under the system of this world, the baby is born wrestling with life and death. And death wins this struggle and throws the majority of us into our eternal graves before we re reach the age of 50. And the remainder before we reach the short age of 100 years. When we should live 500 to 1,000 years. And the weakest one should live at least 100 years. Why is our span of life so short? because we tried to follow and practice the way of the wicked, whose span of life was limited in the beginning of their time of 6,000 years. And, and due to their lack of the essence of righteousness and of eternal life, they care not for a long span of life. They desire to shorten the span of life for the aboriginal people who have no beginning or ending and have, not just, and have done just that, because we have not lived the way of their life. I'm sorry, I'm going to read that. They desire to shorten the span of life for the aboriginal people who have no beginning or ending and have done just that because we have not lived the way, because we have not lived the way of their life. What we were and what we are given to eat and drink has shortened our life. The way we live, the short term of life from 12 to 30 years is but a fleeting moment of the time we should live. The earth is an old, old earth. And the life that is in it is our life also. It produces us and it takes us back as dead material to fertilize the life germ that is yet to be made into man. We should live far longer than we have as long as we see where we come from and that the material that made up our bodies is still alive. But what has happened to us? We were fed with death at the very beginning, the wrong food and drink given to us when we were babies by our wicked enemies until today. We think that it is a mistake to, com to contemplate living 100 or more years, not to think of a thousand years. We think, that it is, we think that it is impossible, but it is no more impossible for us today to live 800 or 900 years than it was for Methuselah, who lived 969 years, each carrying 12 months like the ones we have today. The Holy Quran teaches us that a year with the law has always been 12 months. And the civilizations of the earth must count their years according to the time it takes the earth to rotate around the sun and get itself into position. That the astronomers teach us will give us a more correct way of counting the time. 
We and our sons and daughters are fed on poisonous foods, milk and water, from the start of life. This way of eating like the beast soon robs us of life and we go away within a few years. The baby eats poison animals, fowls and vegetables, and drinks milk that is not his milk. It, belong, it belongs to the cow's baby, goat's baby, and horse's baby. Here the child is reared on animals and cattle's food. This is why we have such a great percentage of delinquency among minors. The child is not fed from his mother's breast. She is too proud of her form. Therefore, she lets the cow and the other animals nurse her newborn baby. And the baby cannot have too much love for his mother, for its mother. It loves the bottle that its food is in, food that his mother robbed from the cow's baby to feed her own baby. When the baby reaches the age of 10, and if it is a male, most of them begin to indulge in drinking alcoholic beverages and using tobacco in one form or, an, or another. Alcohol and tobacco with their poisonous effect upon the male cut his life down as far as his reproductive organs are concerned. He is unable to produce his own kind. And nowadays with dope added to all of the above mentioned poisonous food and drinks, we can easily say with truth that the people are committing suicide. In a few days, years in quotation, not in quotations, but in parentheses, they lose sexual desires. Tobacco and whiskey will most certainly destroy it. The flesh of the swine and alcoholic drinks would give a false impression of feeling to the victim that you are strong and able to finish the course, but you cannot depend on it. Soon one finds himself needing strength again and again, not to think of how venereal diseases destroy those who indulge and the extremes of life. Let us live as the law God has taught me. Ah, let us eat to live as the law God has taught me. Do not take birth control pills. It is a law God's love and my love as his messenger to teach you and to keep you aware of the tricks the devil devises to trap you into accepting death and not life. It is written a law God has come to you to save you from death and destruction by the wicked and to register you in the book of the living, the black nation with unlimited, with unlimited future. He has declared that we are the true members of the nation of Islam, the righteous, who shall never be removed from the earth by any foe. He even laughs at the plans to destroy the nation of the righteous. The birth control law the enemy, the enemy is preparing for you with the aid of their angels the blind, deaf, and dumb black preachers and ignorant black politicians is not concerned about your future. The white priest knows what these plans will do for you. They know that Christianity has been exposed to, civilized, to the civilized world as nothing less than bait to enslave the black people of the earth. The original people who served the white race as slaves, he offers you death and appeal for your future generations of children. He tells you what, is going to, what it is going to do to you but it is like telling a would-be suicide. Here is the loaded gun. Put it to your silly head and blow your brains out. Then he stands aside, throws up his arms and says to the world that he is not responsible for your suicide. This is what you do when you swallow the pills. He knows you are blind, deaf and dumb. I know you do not know the plans and secrets of your enemies, but Allah and his messenger have known for a long time. For this was ascertained when we first learned to read the history of Pharaoh who sought to destroy the future of Israel through the midwives. We know that this too is aimed at you and these last days. We know by the words of the Holy Quran on this attempt to destroy your newborn babies, to destroy the very seed of you. You also are warned against birth control, against birth control law. They say you are not able to provide for the, many ba for the many children with which Allah God is blessing you. They say you should be willing to stop giving birth to children they will have to feed. Who is responsible? Is it not the slave masters and his children's fault that you are not able to care for your family? It is theirs, not yours. Why don't they divide the country with you? Give you a few of these United States and let you raise all the children you want so you can provide a proper living for them. But no, mm -mm. he would rather you were dead than to see you living free of his authority and power to enslave and murder you at, a, you at will. You are aware of this, but yet you are a fool. You do not understand that they are after your life 
and you are seeking death by following and agreeing with them to destroy you and your nation. The earth belongs to the black nation and its people will rule it in the near future. God never gave the whites any of the earth. He only gave them time to live on it, time to make fools of you and me. However, that time is limited. And I now can say in truth that time is up. Mm -hmm. I will defend the interests and life of my people, even at the destruction of my own life and the lives of those who follow me. For that is why I have been raised among you. It is a disgrace upon a black people of America to permit ourselves and our future generations to be cut off and destroyed by ignorant, foolish, pleasure-seeking girls and women of, of our own who do not know what they are doing when they swallow the birth control pill. I repeat, if you accept the law of God and follow me, if you give birth to 100 children, each of you girls and women is considered more blessed and right in the eyes of a law of God than those who try to kill the birth seed. Because of the advice of those who hate you and hope that you destroy yourselves, the clergy, the priests, and the elders, is united to help deceive you. The Catholic religion is our greatest enemy today. It seeks to woo you into its net where your future will be hopeless in the hereafter. This old scheme of attempting to destroy the so-called Negro when the day of his salvation comes to him from God has long been known by us and the law. The nation of the righteous is fully prepared to meet it. Jehovah thwarted, hmm, Jehovah thwarted Pharaoh's wicked plan to prosper through destroying the future of Israel. Pharaoh was afraid of Israel's population. He was populating Egypt faster than the Egyptians. However, he did not want the Israelites to leave Israel. He decided to kill off the male children, which would have stopped Israel from increasing her nation. The birth control's laws employed by the white race were used by his father, Yaqub. It is no new thing today. He does not teach you this, nor does he teach you the sciences of modern warfare or chemistry. Of course, we do not care to learn any more about warfare, for it is the purpose of God to erase war from the human family. He now plans to destroy those who delight in making war against humanity. Who said the white man had to carry us forever? Who gave him the right to cut out birth rate, to cut our birth rate so that he could take care of the small number of us? Who is willing to swallow the pill? The 22 million so-called Negroes can be placed in Africa or Asia. The country is so large, they would not know that we were there. Or they could be put on an island in the Pacific. But he wants to exterminate all of them with the pill so that he, that he and his people can have free reign of the earth. But he should have reckoned with the law God, who has come for the purpose of saving the poor black men from their wicked plans. The Negro, the Negro has been a group of people held in the hands of the white man for 400 years, and yet today he is like a lazy horse or a dog who does not want to leave his master because of fear and has taken all kinds of abuse in order to get a little food or whatever the master has to give. It is a shame. It is not because of the lack of education but because he holds the offer of Allah God in mockery. But this pill is a bold offer of death openly made, inviting the Indians and the so-called Negroes to accept death and also the people they have under their power in the Pacific Islands. It is accepting extermination through a harmless looking pill designed to take away the future birth of our nation. Think well, you white Christian lovers, you sign up to be swallowed up. Israel was taken into a country where she could do all of the populating she wanted to without the interference of Pharaoh. Allah God had Pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea and the white race is going to be thrown into a lake of fire for its plans against the so-called Negro. I shall always rise to your defense against such an artful wicked race of people who has nothing in mind but death for the black man, a scheme covered with a semi bait of good. Once you have swallowed the birth control pill, it is death. Food and health. I have said to eat no peas. At that time, I did not think about what we call sweet peas, which grow into pods. They can be eaten, but not filled peas. I had a reference to filled peas, such as black eyed peas, brown and yellow and black peas. There are some black filled peas. We all know that food and health keep us here, and the same makes us sick and takes us away. If we do not make a practice of eating the right food and drinks that will not make us sick, 
and cause an early death. The way that Almighty God Allah and the person of Master Father Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever, has taught us makes sense. When we get used to eating one meal a day or every 24 hours, we start eating once every two days, which will give you, which will give to you and me better results than eating one meal a day. Even eating one meal a day and eating the right kind of food and having a pure drink will bring us health and prolonged life if, of which we would not even dream. You will not be sick if you eat correctly. And let what you drink be pure, that which will not harm the body. Again, you will agree with me that we Americans are a very gluttonous people <clears throat> and that we prepare our own sick bed, hospital bills, and undertaker bills with what we eat and what we drink. And besides this comes a sick mind. And after a sick mind comes death. You just try eating and drinking and living at peace with yourself and others. And you will write me and tell me that these words are true. As for the swine hog, he is well known to be an animal that we should not take for food because he, is, because he puts an almost incurable disease in those who eat his flesh. Foods to avoid. <clears throat> we should not be asking questions about what kind of foods to eat as much as we should be trying to eat one meal a day. This is where good health and the prolonged and the prolongation of life come from. Good health and the prolongation of life come from abstaining from filling our stomachs too frequently with food of any kind, good or bad. Of this, I can assure you from self-experience. If we keep food going into our stomachs only once every 24 hours or 48 hours, and do not get the foolish idea that this cannot be done, then we can train our stomachs to eat once a week, and our stomachs will not call for food more than once a week. This has been tried. If we could eat one meal a week, we could live as long as Methuselah. We can eat away from eating. We can get away from eating animal flesh and all kinds of scavenger seafoods. Do not eat large fish that weigh over 50 pounds, such as canned tuna. Sometimes this canned tuna comes from a fish that weighs nearly a thousand pounds or more. Do not eat halibut, catfish, or carp. There is a cheap fish called buffalo white buffalo that you can eat, but do not eat any stale fish if you can help it. Even fish is not very good for us due to their animal-like instincts in the water. But we eat them, and it is not a sin to eat them. Edible fish. Many of the bass fish that are found in lakes, rivers, and running stream water are good to eat. White fish, channel trout, which is better. River trout and most perch are good to eat. You may eat fish that weigh from one and a half to ugh, that weigh from one and a half to four or five pounds. We were reared on the animal flesh that was divinely prohibited flesh, the hog. We must not eat or put our hands on the carcass of the hog or sit around a place where it is being slaughtered or cooked. We should not even get the odor of it in our nostrils. It is a sin to deliberately stand and smell it being slaughtered or cook. cooked. The devil did this harm to you and me and to the people all over the earth. Of course, we cannot blame him for doing this because he was not created to do righteousness anyway. Do not think hard of them for anything they do or, to, or teach you to do because they are just doing their job. Nature has made them to be as they are. I pray Allah that he will remove them from the planet earth so they will not deceive and misguide people from the right way. Eat one meal every day, eat one meal a day, and do not take food between meals unless you are sick. A person that is sick and weak is excluded from the above said time of eating. Remember, do not eat those ugly horse beans that you have been eating, lima beans, field peas, etc. Eat only small navy beans. They are white and pink in color. There are also large beans of the same color, but do not eat the great big beans. Eat the small ones. Cook them thoroughly. Feed them to your children. Do not eat freshly baked cakes. Give them a day or two to dry out after baking. Do not even hurry. Do not ever hurry bread to your. Sorry. Excuse me. I mean. Do not ever hurry bread to bake. Because it is better for us if it has been baked twice. Stay away from eating fried foods. Do not make a habit of filling your stomach with aged cheese. Aged cheese. Eat cream cheese as much as possible. 
as it is better for your digestive system. Stay away from eating all meats and vegetables that are canned in metal cans as much as possible. Sometimes we are forced to eat them because we do not have any other. Try to get your food canned in jars or while the food is in season. Buy it and can it in glass jars yourself. If you, if you eat if you eat a vegetable meal, try to get fresh vegetables if you can purchase them from a market. Remember to eat one meal a day, regardless to your type of work. You can live on one meal a day. This will keep your doctor away from your door. Of course, eating one meal every two days or three days is even better, but you are not going to apply your... <laughs> Him knows us. Of course, eating one meal every two or three days is even better, but you are not going to apply yourself to eating once every two or three days. So, try to eat only one meal every 24 hours. Make a habit of this and you will feel better and have fewer ailments. Alhamdulillah, that concludes today's reading. That was page 78 to 92 or to 93. See, that's what I'm saying. He knows. Him know that we, like, but... Like I said before, in the beginning, it we are going to we're entering into a time that um, we're probably just going to be eating every two days or three days anyway. But so yeah, I pray that whomever was able to see this episode today that I filmed or whenever you are watching it and listening to it, that you are um, able to submit to Allah God's guidance and are striving to eat your one meal a day and eating of the best foods. And if you've mastered that, go ahead and move yourself into every other day. Look, this is just the, this is just what's the advice that Allah God gives you. Um, when I'm going, when am, when is Mario, I'm going to start eating every other day. I am not sure, but first things first, we're stop buying. We're no longer buying fish. So, excuse me, into a vegetarian diet we go. I pray for everyone's success. I pray that um, we sincerely, sincerely strive to submit our will to the will of Almighty God, Allah. And if you have the desire of anything of good, ask him to bless you with success. And I pray for your success. I truly do. So, to wrap up, I leave you in the greeting words of peace. Of assalamu alaikum and until next time. Peace, love and light.